Solomon. One month ago, Arsenal yeah. will get relegated. Remember that? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. One month. You ago, remember Tot- that? Tottenham was winning the title one month ago. Yeah, that? and Chelsea were total contenders. You remember that? Ole was out. Remember that? Man United was was on the brink of yeah disaster. But Liverpool are five points clear. Apparently. You know what's going on now, bro? It's just it's a it's a weird league. It's a weird it's a mess. It's a weird. It's a mess. It's, every, it's a messy year. It's a mess season. Everything's a mess. It just feels messy. And not Lionel, just just feels messy, bro. Even Messi's a mess. Even Messi's a mess, bro. You we'll know leave what I mean? that for our leg. I'm our saying, but I'm saying hour. everything's everything's a mess, bro. Everything's That's a mess. A, it's, everything's a mess. Look, I think what 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 this what it comes what it goes to show, yeah, bro. Football changes in moments, literally. Oh yeah, you know 100%. I mean? it changes oh, yeah. like opinion and and form and and whatever sort of it, it, on a moment's notice, bro. You go from being a manager. Look at Arteta being in trouble, losing his job, not being good enough for the job, to being savior, being the next best thing. Um, you know, Emil, Emil Smith. All it took was a win. Emil All Smith, it took was a win. That's it. Um, so yeah, it's just a very. And I think it speaks to the fans as well. Impatient, moody, um, media reactive. Well. Don't forget, don't forget the media. Yeah, You're but right. the media don't... feeds off something. I feel like the media feeds off the fans, bro. They feed off the fans. They feed off Twitter. And they feel off what the fans are saying. Um, yeah, man. Just, I mean, just... Well, just... look at now. What are the stories now? Man United, the title contenders. Man United, the title contenders, the equal top with a game in hand. Liverpool, Liverpool's in trouble. Liverpool's apparently. in trouble. Uh, Lampard needs to start looking for a new job, apparently. L- Lampard's going to go back to the championship. Uh-huh. He's going to take over Derby again. And uh, Arteta is, is eyeing a top four spot, apparently. You know what's funny? You're saying... We're, we're saying all this... You watch the media slobber all over Man United because they're going to be league leaders next week. Mm-hmm. They're, they're going to draw at least with Burnley. Mm-hmm. They'll take some top. They'll be there for two weeks and then they'll drop off again. Yeah. Because, you yeah. know, there's one team, and I said it a couple of weeks ago, there's one team that has not been mentioned again and they're not mentioned mm-hmm. on anything. Man City. Manchester City. Mm-hmm. They're just flying, bro, under the radar. You're not yeah. even... What are they coming? They're fifth. They're fifth with two games in hand. And they reminded everyone is that when they have a fully fit squad, God damn, bro. Watch out. Watch out. Uh, it's it's crazy. Hey, man. you know what, Ben? We're, we're, also, we're also guilty of that, man, Be, being reactive, being in the moment. Look, but, um, but, but I, I know that, but like, but like that, that's the nature of the I said this is not a normal league this year. We said it, bro. We no, said no, we, this no, is not a normal It's league. not a normal league, but I feel like it's the nature of the beast that comes with being yeah. a, a sports fan. Every sports fan is, is very reactive. You know, very few fans that are patient and whatever. It comes with being a sports fan. Um, whether it's right, whether it's wrong, I don't know. Because in, in like, I tend to, like, we'll talk about, we'll talk about HT specifically. Or we'll talk about Arsenal first. I tend to winning the games that he's won. Although he's been, you know, he's been successful. Uh, it still feels like he's, he's a loss or two away from, yep, yeah, job's too big for him. You know? Um, oh, of course. He's bought in young guns and they're, and they're firing. But what happens with young guns? They go hard for a bit and then obviously they, they drop. So when that eventually happens, again, Arteta, job on the line, whatever it is. Um, does that, do you think, does this sort of little patch show you that patience should be given to each and every manager? Each and every manager just, just needs time? Or are there, are there, is there evidences to show that sometimes a manager, you know, instantly, no. Nah. He's not good enough. He needs to get out. Well, I mean, I hate to bring up this team, but Southampton. You remember last year, or the I can't remember if it was last year, the year before they lost nine 0 to Leicester. Leicester. Yeah. Look where they've look how far they've come. That could have sacked their manager back then. Mm-hmm. Look where he's brought them. Finally beating Liverpool for the first time in a long time, and they're 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 up there. They're challenging in the top six. Like, there are some managers you gotta you gotta hold on to hundred percent. Like. The thing is, but if a manager is stubborn and doesn't try new things, that's when you get rid of them. Mm. And that was the problem with Arteta. He kept going back to the same players. William. Why? Ever since he stopped playing William, look how good we've gone. Yeah. No longer stagnant. No, no longer stagnant. Yeah, and, and it just it just blooded new guys. Our good friend said it once. I don't know if you saw it on Twitter or this was from him. Guna Hamadi. He said this. He said... 
we don't care if players make mistakes as long as it's, you know, they'll learn from it and it's for the benefit of the future of the club. Mm-hmm. There's no good William making mistakes or Mustafi making mistakes or, you know Doesn't what I mean, the older guys. Him. Doesn't benefit us. Yeah. Let the young guys go hard. Let them make their mistakes. But don't, don't stuff their confidence up. Keep believing in them because they're going to come good. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I, I agree with that. I agree. Yeah, the, the, the issue with Arteta was just, um, yeah, the same old thing, same old thing. And I, I think that's yeah. what, what the trap that sort of Wenger fell in as well towards the end of his career. Trying, you know, yeah. say, do you remember that Man City game, Wenger? Wenger played five at the back. Do you remember that game? He's never done that in his life. He's never but, done that. Yeah, but see, but it's, like, it's funny how that game sticks out in our memory. Yeah. See, that's the only one time he did it. He played five at the back. Yeah. Remember, Wushi had an amazing game that game. We, we, beat, we beat Man City. Um yeah, yeah, uh, time. I mean, every every team wants a Ferguson, every team wants a Wenger, a David Moyes even for Everton. And all the th- all those guys had in common was uh, they were given time. Um, especially Ferguson, especially Sir Alex, because the first six years, he didn't win a league there. Mm-hmm. They wanted him gone. Right. You know, they stuck with him. In the end, they won him third. I, mean. I wonder what it, what it would have been like to, you know, sort of be around at that time and, and seen him um, transitioning. Because, like, yeah, it would have been very easy to say, no, I'm done with this guy. I don't, wanna, I don't want this guy on my team. And yeah, I think what this sort of little, uh, what's the word, uh, scenario, whatever it is, has done now is given managers uh, a ticket to say, look, give me some time. I can be like Ole. Give me some time. I can do stuff like Arteta, you know? 